Well, folks, we're in South Branch Valley Outdoors here. We're getting ready to start up some reloading. And we uh, have some zero bullets here we'll try and load up. We have the CR Pro Hunter and the CR Bomber in 22 caliber. And we also have some 30 caliber. I will relay the 308 with. My old buddy Johnny over here. He's a little, he's camera shy. <laughs> well, we're going to try to load some up, so uh, stick with us and we'll. Try to talk you through this. I'm gonna have to do me some casings. Is it just three links? I need to put three links in there. There we go. There we go. Three links. Ah, there we go. So I'm gonna have to move these casings up and resize them. And Johnny over here, he's going to. Get the chore of putting the powder and seating the bullets. And I get to sit back and watch him. <laughs> if you've never reloaded before, go by what the book says. Right here's the best book Sierra. Get a Sierra book and use Sierra bullets because they're the best. I've been using them for 19 years and I've never had any trouble, and they always do a very good job. Be very careful what you're doing because reloading is you have to be very particular. Make sure everything is perfect. Go by that reloading book. Do not reload anything unless it says in that book. Oh, and we are not responsible for any accidents. Just putting that out there. Just in case somebody out there in the world, you never know, they do something wrong. I watch me. We don't want anybody to get hurt. And as he's resizing the 308 cases, the crown, I'm over here wiping the excess lube off of them. That way, don't get no lube contaminants down in there. Any much of powder, prime, or anything like that. We will have a video at the end, hopefully, with a with the Sierra bullets doing the work. Yeah, we're going to do a load work up on these 308s here. These are the 125 grain Spitzer saw points from Sierra Pro Hunters. And we're going to start low and work our way up. And then we'll take them out to the range. Folks, Sierra Handbook. Right there is what you need to look. You got it. It'll have a number on it. This is the third edition, edition five, third printing. We'll load up three different loads. This is 7mm 120 grain spitzer bullets. They're made by Sierra. And then we'll also have 30 caliber 125 grain spitzer. We're going to load them up as well. These are our coyote hunts. We have the 22 caliber, 60 grain hollow points. We go coyote hunting or fox. Um, not sure which one we'll do. We'll, we'll probably do them all. If we get time. Yeah, we'll probably load, we're going to load these probably in some 223 and some 22 250. The 60 grain hollow points. So we're about to get this. Yeah, I've already resized everything. We have to clean the primers, our pockets, and lay our powder out and go from there. We'll see what thing you can see here. They have a Sierra also has a good chart. You can see I have three of them on the wall, but it don't it don't hurt to have more than one. So if you, if you can see that, which I'll try to show you. They have a Good variety of bullets, and I've never found one of these bullets yet to be a bad one. They're all good bullets. They do a very good job, and that's why I use Sierra. We're doing 125 green Spencer Sierra bullets right now at this point.
Well, you can see, but these little rascals, these 125 green boards, very small board, 30 caliber. Well, it works really well with the daughter. Don't kick, and she's not afraid of the gun. So if you want to use do a bullet, get the Sierra 125 green soft points, and it'll work really good for a kid. They won't kick, and they enjoy shooting your gun. So, And there you go, folks. There's a shell loaded up with white N135 with a 125 green Sierra soft point. Now we're going to load up some 223 now with some 60 grain Sierra hollow points. All right, folks. Well, we've got the 223s loaded up. We got the 308 floated up, and now we are going to the 70 mm items and the Sierra bullets. I'm loading primers in a 70 mm remnant and magnum. I will load up some test loads for the 70 mm magnum, 120 grain Sierra Pro Hunters. And when we get them finished, we'll see you at the range. All right, guys, we made it out to the range today. I'm going to send these Sierra bullets down range here and check these loads we worked up for them. Just waiting on Rick to get here. Off of work. And uh, if y'all ever, if y'all do some reloading and you want a good bullet, get you some Sierra bullets. You, you won't go wrong. I guarantee you, if you try them, you won't, you won't shoot no other bullet. So uh, y'all just stay with us and... Uh, We'll show you some of the shooting and we'll show you the targets and stuff when we're done. Show you how, how good they shoot. Here's all the guns we're going to be shooting today. 223 AR, 22-250, 308 sub-millimeter, and a 223 bolt action. green sierra bullets and see how they group down there 100 yards all right now i'm shooting a 223 ar with uh sierra bullets 60 grain hall points Shooting 60 grain Sierra hollow point bullets. Green, all the point Sierras, now twenty two two fifty.
today we're back. Uh, we just shot all of our bullets, and now we're going to go down here and see what the groups are like with the different powders. We'll be back here in just a sec. All right, I'm here. This is my two targets here with the Sierra bullets. Seven millimeter down here and 223 up here. This here was uh, my first low charge group. Got four right here within an inch. One flyer. This is my second charge here. It kind of scattered them a little bit. Got a couple touching here. This is my third charge. Got four here within about an inch and one flyer. This here so was my best group with the Sierra Bullets. And down here is my 7mm group. This is my low charge. Not a bad group. This is my second charge. Not bad. Third charge started tightening up a little better. And then once I got down here to my fourth charge, it really tightened up. There's, it looks like four holes here. There's five holes there. And uh, But you ain't gonna go wrong with Sierra Bullets. You get, if you get you some Sierra Bullets, you won't be disappointed if you reload. Buy you a box of them, try them out, and I guarantee you, you won't use no other bullet. All right, everybody. Well, I've tried the different powders. Stay away from Johnny over there. This is a 308 setup here. This is tack powder. This this is tack powder here, which is not a very good group. And this is the N135 powder with Sierra bullets. Now these, this is not the bullets, by, by the way. This here is powder. We were trying different charges and different brands of powder. But this right here is the N135 powder with the Sierra bullets. The Sierra bullets done a good job. It's just powder here. Then up here was the 22250 with the uh, Sierra hollow points. You can see how the kind of group it is. This is the highest group. You can use, you can use the power of this. You can get the CFE 223. This is the CFE 223 dice. I've got what we used. Not perfect. But anyway, this is the highest group. There's actually four holes, but one hole hit bullet hole. That's the hole. There you go. You see our bullet hole? They do right here. Very good groups. That's the way to go. Let's see here. Bullets. All right, everybody. Well, we're we're done shooting. We've got some nice groups with the rifles. Sierra Bullets done a good job. You all interested in Sierra Bullets? Look at SierraBullets.com, and there should be a hotline on there. If you call in, they'll let they'll answer any question you want to know. They're very good at answering your questions of what you need to know. And um, later on. On the video here, we're going to have some highlights of some videos of some hunts. We've got two uh, two hunts we use Sierra Bullets on, and um, they've done a pretty good job. And if you would, please like and subscribe to our channel. As we plan on bringing, hopefully, a lot more reviews on stuff. And a lot more hunts coming up, squirrel hunts, and trout season's coming in. So we hope to bring a lot more good videos of just about anything. And thanks to our cameraman Scotty back here, which is uh, a little camera shy, but uh, we'll get him out of that eventually. Yeah. So y'all just stick with us, and uh, we hope to bring you some good videos.
do. I guess. I shot a nice buck down here, I believe. I believe he's pretty nice, and we'll be down here and see if we can find him. Check him out here. We'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna get my dog on it. More dog. All right, everybody. Well, you want to just, what we think, he killed a nice buck. We think he fell over dead. I don't think he ran too far, but we'll find him out here in just a second. Okay, we're heading out here to see if we can find him. Yep, there he lays. Yep, we got him. All right. Hey, guys, we found him. Yeah, he's a nice eight point. I don't know, 16 inches wide or so. Broke off right here from fighting. Got one kicker back here off the back side. I don't know if you get it on there or not. But got a little kicker there. Been doing some rubbing. Come down through here, run the dough through the field back here. And uh, come back across the fence on our side. And I got a good shot at him. My first buck for the year. Pretty nice one. <coughs> Thank y'all for watching South Branch.